Okay, we're back. We had a bee mishap. I was being attacked. Not stung though. You weren't being attacked either. They were just flying in your hair. Well, I, I wasn't a fan of that. <laughs> I wouldn't have said you were being attacked. I would. But I now have a veil on to protect my face and my hair and my ears. I vote it's because Jesse was making them mad. He did now put a honey super um, on that one over there, which we saw was super busy, but he opted not to put an excluder on, a queen excluder. How's that one look, Jesse? So this one has, they're just starting to build out wax on this outside one. But like this second one has comb built, this one has comb, 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 all the way down to this one here. So there, this one is a little bit behind, but not a, not terribly far behind that last one. But like even this second frame. Oh yeah, that's... All the way built out on one side and a significant amount built on this side already. Yeah. This hive is not doing quite as fast as the other one, but I'm gonna, but uh, so far all I'm seeing in these top ones is honey and nectar. I'm not seeing any brood. Is that why you did not put an excluder on? Um, I just don't know if I wanna have a queen excluder. Some people and some beekeepers say that it it's harder on the bees because as the regular bees go through it, it damages their wings and stuff. Oh. So, and they say that as long as your queen has plenty, you know, two full frames below, then as those brood frames get filled, then they get emptied out and, you know, they start, start new in those frames, so. I shouldn't have to worry about the queen going up to the top. They also talk about how the drones come up to feed too, and mm -hmm. the drones don't fit as easily through those excluders. So then, like this one, you can see there's still three full frames over here with nothing built on it yet. So this one's definitely not ready for a honey super yet. This one's behind that one. Okay. I have a feeling that other end one is going to be pretty far behind. You think so? Yeah possible. It's been the slowest one so far. I got a bee over here checking me out. Hey girl, what's up? So this one, you can see they're starting to build some funky comb. <laughs> what's the funky comb for? They just do that sometimes. Funky you comb Medina? Honey comb over here. Mm. Like this one. I don't know if they were, the, the frames might have been spaced funny so that they kind of built it out funny. And then when I open it up, it ripped some of it open, so. Mm. So they'll have to go in there and repair my work. Sorry, girls. It's my fault. That's on me. This one is definitely not ready for a honey super yet. They still have quite a lot to build out, but it's going in the right direction anyway. I'm gonna try to stick it back together. So just for fun, let's look at the uh, bottoms of the frames here. Don't make them mad. Oh, 
Heavy. Whoa, look at all those Whoa. bees. So this one, you can see honey, they made a bridge from the bottom one to the second one up and they would just crawl right up this. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on that. Can you point that out again, Jesse? The bridge? Like right in here, like this part of this honeycomb here connected to the bottom of this other frame here. Boy, they are all busy, busy though. I'm just scanning over. I'm just looking to make sure I don't see the queen up on the top anywhere before I stick this back on top here. Just on the risk, I don't definitely don't want to smush her. Save a little piece of comb for later. There you go. You can actually try it then. I'm trying to get them to go down a little bit so I can stick this back on and not smush any or many. Chase them down. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. How much do you think it weighs? Oh, I don't know hundred and some pounds probably. For real? Yeah, really heavy. Well, it's packed full, real full. Yeah. Okay, Come I'm gonna on. end this video. We'll be back with our uh, little hive on the end. Maybe we'll be surprised.